Okay, so I haven't posted a video in a while, so I thought I'd just give everyone an update as to how things are going. So, oh, let's see, this is kind of where I've been doing my, um, my paintings for that auction for the kids that are trying to go to Chicago on a missions trip. So, I've been doing a lot of that recently. It's kind of a mess down here. Ooh. Mostly I just kind of wanted to show what's been going on here. This is the room that's going to be the studio once everything's all, once everything else out there is all finished. And this will be the studio and we'll probably put a couple bookcases in here too to kind of expand our library. But um, most immediately this is going to be the place where we're going to put guests because uh, <laughs> We've been having some other problems. But anyway, Jared put all this up last weekend. It's drywall. And we're going to put the ceiling up there this weekend. Uh, once we get a drywall lift. There's some extra drywall on the floor. But anyway. Um, so the reason that people who are visiting will be staying in there is because we kind of have a problem. <laughs> Yeah, so here's the future guest room. We we started putting up drywall a, a couple weeks ago, but uh, maybe it was more like a month ago. But then we, we noticed that there was a bit of a leak coming through right about there where the step stool is, and we thought that it was coming from the egress window because there was some snow in there. We figured, oh, it's just, you know, melting and getting in there. But what happened is uh, we're like, well, you know, we really can't, we can't finish this wall until we really know what's going on. So, and plus we did this wall wrong anyways. <clears throat> so basically Jared pulled back all the insulation and um, there was this huge crack, which has since been sealed with this epoxy kit that, uh, that Jared bought because um, <laughs> we really needed to fix it. So... What ended up happening is last night we noticed that now that this crack has been fixed with the epoxy and the the foaming resin, apparently there all this water is now coming in through here, and it was really bad last night. I mean there was the water was like all the way out to those towels there, and it was it was uh, it was pretty crazy, and I did some uh towel washing last night, and we wouldn't have known what was causing it unless I had gone out last night. I'm like, all right, you know, we have a lot of snow out there right now. There's a lot of snow that's just kind of accumulating around the house. And, you know, we don't shovel the backyard because, you know, we're from Colorado and we don't shovel our backyards in Colorado. So I go out there with a snow shovel and the downspout, which is like right about there, was moved kind of upwards a little bit so it was a little bit away from the house, like up a, f a few more feet away from the house. But that downspout was like full of ice. I mean, it was solid ice. Jared was smacking it against the retaining wall and these enormous chunks of ice were coming out. So no water could flow through it. So it was, it was leaking at the joint where the downspout or where the gutters were going into, were supposed to connect. So anyway, it's just been coming, I'm guessing, it's just been coming straight down here. So I kind of duct taped the, the joint and I'm hoping that'll help, help fix it a little bit. But, oh man. And then earlier this morning, I shoveled off uh, part of the walk that we have down there because basically we have retaining wall, a uh, little walkway that goes from the front to the back, and then the wall of our house. And then this, that snow has just been sitting there. And when I walked out there last night, you could feel the water beneath the snow. It was just kind of this like little mini river of water going under there. So it was just not a good situation, and it's it's just not something that we're used to in Colorado because when it snows in Colorado, it's you know it's all gone in the next few days, and it's you know the, the ground is so dry it soaks up everything. Don't have to really worry about your foundations. But anyway, fortunately we have some more of this epoxy, and as soon as it gets dried out, where it's it's gonna it's gonna chill up again for a couple days, in a few days. So. That that way it'll stop things from melting, and at that window of time, we'll be able to put some more epoxy and resin over there. So, ah, and we have to get some new insulation, some new two by fours. You can see some of those boards were uh, rotting because of the water damage. It was it was really bad. It was molding. It was gross. There was a dead mouse 
and uh, we had to spray it with a uh, bleach solution. <laughs> it was just not okay. So. so that's pretty much all that's going on. Uh, I'm kind of generally spending my time either painting one day or uh, subbing, kind of alternate between staying home and doing artwork and then subbing. I take all the sub jobs I can get, which, uh, I don't know, it's kind of complicated. I have to check on the internet like every five minutes for these jobs. They're kind of strange. So, yeah. So as soon as we get that leak finished, fixed, we might be able to start putting up drywall there, but in the meantime, we'll have guests stay in the studio, which is actually kind of nicer in a way, because you don't have to worry about, um, well, you don't have to worry about leaking, for one, but there's a door. <laughs> there's a door on the studio, so that's nice, because we don't have a door there yet. So, okay. That is basically it. Ciao.